And today's video, guys, I'm going to give you a full on optimization guide in order to boost your FPS and improve your overall system performance on a low end PC here in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. And also some quick steps every single one of you can do on your personal PC in order to improve its performance. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would have made so, so much. If at any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah, guys, in the first place, what I want you to do is open up your Windows search bar and just simply type in power options until you can find find edit power plan open it up guys and once we're in here we're going to click on to change advanced power settings guys and what are we going to do from here is find actually PCI Express this is basically the port on your motherboard on which you have your GPU running you know just simply open it up and there we have link state power management and therefore guys we gotta put it to off a hundred percent we don't want to have it on moderate power savings or maximum power savings or some stuff like that we want our GPU to run at a hundred percent in order to make sure that we get maximum FPS on our low-end PC then in the same window guys we're gonna go down here to processor power management open it up and there we have a minimum processor state which we gotta make sure is set to a hundred percent guys yeah this is going to make sure as well that our CPU is going to run always at its max, making sure that we get maximum FPS in our games, which we want to play. Once we're done with both of these settings, we're going to click onto apply and onto OK. And then we're already done here with this first method. So guys, and what I want you to do now in the first place is head over into your Windows search bar and just simply type in privacy until you can find the privacy settings, system settings. Just simply click onto it, guys. And in the first place now, we have general. And what this whole section pretty much does is it's sending data to Microsoft in the background 24 seven. Let's just say as an example, your Fortnite is crashing. It's gonna send those data to Microsoft. Some application is crashing and all that stuff, but we don't want that because we just simply ha don't have to really care about it. And it's just going to slow down our PC. So therefore, if you have something here right now, like let apps use advertising ID to make ads more interesting, we of course also don't want that. So we're gonna turn it to off. Let websites provide locally relevant content. Also gotta put it to off. Let Windows track app launches to improve start and search results, guys. This is exactly what I said. You know, it's going to scan your applications in the background, guys. And then as well, show me suggested content. We're gonna turn off all of these here super easy. Just simply make sure that it's actually here on off, guys. Then we're gonna go next up here to speech. Then we have online speech recognition, which we of course also can turn off. We don't need it as well, guys. Inking and typing personalization, we're also gonna turn off here super easily. Diagnostics and feedback, guys. Make sure it's on the first one that it's only the required diagnostics. You sadly can turn it off entirely. So therefore, we're just gonna put it on the lowest option, basically. Then improving ink and typing, we're gonna turn off. Taylor experience as well onto off. View diagnostics data, also on off, guys. This is exactly also what I mentioned with like these data which are going to send to Microsoft. Just simply make sure that everything is completely turned off, guys. And also diagnostics data are always deleted. And once we're done here with all of these, we can already go over here now to app permission. And there we have something like location, which we want to turn off as well for basically any application running in the background. Your camera, you maybe have to leave on, guys, really depending if you use like a webcam. For me, of course, I use two webcams for recording, so I can't really turn it off. The same as well with microphone. But notifications, I can turn 100% off you guys. Allow apps to access your notifications. We're gonna turn off, guys. Then we have account information. Allow apps to access your account info. Gonna put to off as well. Contacts, we gotta put to off as well. Calendar, then we have also your phone calls. Also gotta turn it off. Basically everything which you don't need 100% guys, something like email, don't need it. Messages, don't need it. Radios, don't need it. So therefore make sure to turn off as many as possible guys. App diagnostics also to off guys and just simply anything what you can guys as mentioned besides maybe like camera, microphone and voice activation because all these are kind of important for gaming. And for the rest, yeah, just simply make sure to turn off as much as possible. And every time before I actually hop into Fortnite, guys, I open up no ping here and make sure that I enable the boost FPS mode and actually also the turbo games mode, which is going to reduce the input delay of my keyboard. And in addition to that, guys, no ping can also help you to reduce the ping of any game you want to play. As an example, if you're going to search here for Fortnite, guys, we can click onto it and it's going to showcase me the best server in my near, which would for me now be here London 02. And you can see on London 02, I get only 23 milliseconds delay whether on frankfurt 17 or any of the other ones guys where i would get 26 milliseconds so therefore this already helped me to get three milliseconds less ping guys and then we're only going to click here on to optimize game and we're already fully connected to the server with the least amount of latency in my near guys just simply let no ping run in the background you can boost your fps reduce the input delay and get less ping and by the way with the link in the description guys and my code you can get 20 percent off as well as the seven days trial guys and you can pay super easy 
easy via PayPal. So therefore this amazing tool and make sure to check it out. Then the next step guys, I prepared a brand new low end PC FPS boost pack here for you guys, which you can get here on my official website. Just simply click on the second link in the description. That it should be guys, the Stripes block spot. And once we're on here, we can already see now here on the top guys, FPS boost, input delay, stretch resolution and extra. And we of course going to click onto FPS boost. You might get a small pop-up ad and then you get redirected here to the next side where you can find a bunch of posts already, which are all super useful by the way, in order to boost your FPS. So make sure to check them all out. But we're going to click here on the one on the top, which should have the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now. Then again, click onto it guys, scroll down and there you should find a download button which is going to redirect you to Google Drive. If it's not a Google Drive link, guys, it's probably part of an ad. So therefore, make sure that you're on Google Drive and then it should look like this here and you can download it. And once we get the pack here on our PC, we're going to open it up and extract all of these files here onto our PC. And what are we going to do in the first place, guys, is click on to reduce input the like optimizations, open it up. And in there, we have two registry tweaks, which are all going to make sure that we have the least amount of latency on our PC for our keyboard and mouse setup. So therefore, just simply click onto it, click onto yes, and you already added it to your registry. The same as well with the mouse optimizations registry tweak, click onto yes again. And then we're already done here with the first step. Then we're going to go over here to CPU and GPU optimization, guys. And these are some additional tweaks, which are going to make sure that we increase our CPU performance and increase our system responsiveness. This is overall going to give us way less input delay and just overall better performance on our PC. So we're going to click onto it again, click onto yes, and the same here as well for the second one. And then it's also added to the registry. In the next file, guys, we have a bunch of very useful registry tweaks, which are always linked, you know, as an overall quick enhancement, because after each and every single Windows update, you should actually disable all of these services. We have something like driver searching, file history services, power throttling, disable energy estimation, just simply all of these processes which are going to slow down our PC. And the worst part about it is they're all getting always re-enabled after each and every single Windows update. So you gotta do this consistently, guys, you know, just simply click onto it, add it to your registry, and then click through all of them to make sure that they're applied or something like high priority, which is gonna put your Fortnite onto high priority mode consistently. And then we're already done here. And in the last folder now, we have game user settings plus config guys, in which we have a brand new updated version of game user settings with a stretch resolution already applied and it's fully optimized for maximum FPS. So therefore drag it onto your screen guys, click onto this top bar, type in presenter, temp presenter, open it up, go onto local, press F on your keyboard to find Fortnite game, save, config, Windows client, delete your current game user settings and just simply replace them with the new ones. You can of course also open it up guys and check here. I applied a stretch res, which I would say is overall also a really good one for low end PCs. Maybe like on the higher side of low end PCs because you can go way lower guys. I just uploaded a video like two days ago um, about an even better stretch res for maximum FPS. But this one of course gives you a slightly better visual. So therefore you really got to try it out if you're playing on a super low end PC or kind of like in the higher grades of a low end PC, you know, like there's of course also differences, but this one has 1024 times 768, which is 100% playable and therefore just leave it there. Right click onto it, go into properties and make sure to put the attribute read only. Click onto apply, okay. And then we are already done here. And let's continue with the next step. And in this next step guys, I want you to again to go into a Windows search bar and just simply type in device until you can find the device manager. And once we're in here, guys, we're going to take a look for system devices. Super easy. Should be a little bit under sound and software, you know, just simply go down. And then we're going to click here onto this small arrow, which is actually going to pop up here, this menu. And in there now, we're going to have the high precision event timer, guys. And I just recently made a video about this, also explaining why the high precision event timer is actually decreasing your system performance and giving you additional latency. You can literally Google this, guys. And I don't have a clue why it's still part of Windows 10 or Windows 11 and why it's not disabled straight up from the beginning. It has something to do with power savings and kind of like not getting as much energy, you know, into your PC. It has something to do with power savings and not using as much energy energy while doing like normal workflow because most of PCs are actually used for office work nowadays. Yeah, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, definitely guys, what you want to do is right click onto it and make sure that it's disabled. You know, for me, it right now it says enable device because it's already disabled, which you can also check here with this small arrow. And then we're already good to go. And yeah, guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would up mode. Say so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day. Have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.